the stocks discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Money sets me free. I'm a money magnet. Money, 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 money's coming to me. It's your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. With your host... Bill Grandy. The financials as a group were very oversold. And you could make a strong case that if a group is going to start to outperform, it could have been energy, it could have been financials, a couple of the worst performing groups for last year. And we're seeing a rally off the bottom, 11%. Makes sense for these stocks to go up. It makes sense that they start to show some numbers that are better. But we're not buyers. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> It makes sense to buy them, but they're not buyers. Why aren't they buying them? As a matter of fact, even even uh, Payne is confused. I'm so confused. Yeah, he's confused about it. It's unbelievable. Listen to this. At least in the beginning of this year, the things that were the most oversold are the most likely to perform. You've already seen that in financials. You've already seen it in energy. You know, tonight you get some indication from bank CSX. Week, Jim. It's the bank week. Yeah, but you know what? Where are you going to go now to make money? All right, so here's what they're not telling you, because they don't want you to know this. The rally in the banks is what they call a short-covering rally. Like the first guy said, well, what are you going to do now? Now that these bank stocks are up 6 to 12%, that's all short-covering. Everybody who was shorting it, okay, these stocks had to take their profits because they are being squeezed by the plunger team. And understand how these banks operate. They make their earnings look better than they are through what? Stock buybacks. That's right. These, these banks are doing stock buybacks. The Federal Reserve right now are buying shares of these stocks also to try to move it up. It is important that they get these stocks, the bank stocks, above what they call their 50-day moving average. Please do not be jumping into these stocks. You had to be into these stocks when we bought them, when my members bought them. We bought them early on, anticipating that this would happen. Now, how did we anticipate that the bank stocks were going to start moving up? Well, my chart, because my color-coded technology chart, called my MV2 chart, it identified, started to turn from red to green, telling me the big institutions, the big insurance companies, the big boys. Insurance companies, the hedge funds, they were starting to buy these bank stocks. Now, the reason they started to go buy these bank stocks because they knew a short covering rally was coming in. And and they, they were gonna be they were gonna force these stocks to go up. When they report, one of the big tricks they use is set aside. They have a certain amount of money that is set aside for bad debt. So let's say you got $10 million set aside for bad debt. Well, they want to move their earnings up. So what do they do? They reduce the amount of bad debt set aside. So if they have $10 million set aside, they'll reduce it down to $2 million. That goes right to their bottom line. I talked about this later yesterday. It goes right to their bottom line. The other tricks they pull, they'll write off, if, if you're behind your payments, 60, 90 days, 120 days. They're supposed to write off the principal of the note. What they do, they just write off the payments. They write the payments off as bad debt. They don't ever write off the the uh, uh, the, the overall note. I mean, there's so many games they play. It's incredible, these banks. So that's why. Now go back and say to yourself, why would these people, on these, these experts, these people from Goldman Sachs and all these other experts that come on, why would they say they wouldn't buy the banks? Listen. 
the financials as a group were very oversold. And you could make a strong case that if a group is going to start to outperform, it could have been energy, it could have been financials, a couple of the worst performing groups for last year. And we're seeing a rally off the bottom, 11 percent. It makes sense for these stocks to go up. It makes sense that they start to show some numbers that are better. But we're not. Uh, but they're not buying them, she says. We're not buying them. Wouldn't you think she'd be buying them? We did. Now, we bought these, okay, the bank stocks here. Just give you a few of the stocks that we are up, just to give you an idea. Uh, Bank of America, uh, we're up 7%. Uh, we're up on, uh, let's see, we're up on Bank of America 7%. and No, 15%, I'm sorry. Bank of America, we're up 15%. Morgan Stanley, we're up about 5%. Um, the ETF, XLF, where you could buy them as a basket, we're up 7%. Uh, city, we're up five percent. So, so we caught these early on because my chart. If you go and you take care, let's let's put up XLF as a good example. You go to my site, philsgang.com, and then click on where it says uh, live the show, and you'll see if you have a mobile device, you can see my chart exactly what I'm looking at, and you can follow me. Otherwise, you, if you don't, you can. Uh, it's archived. So. So here we go. So you can start, you go all the way back and you can see where the institutions were pulling money out of the banks, XLF, that's the ETF. So you can see it was red, starting around, right, right around um, $27, $28, and that was back in November. So when it turned red, actually it was December 3rd, December 3rd. So we sold them short. We were selling them short. You sell the bank short. That's the beautiful thing about what we do here, what my members do. We show them how to make money by selling short, which all of you, nobody should be in the stock market unless you know how to sell short. Your 401k is a total joke because you're not allowed to sell short. So now all of a sudden what happens is you can see on my chart, goes all the way down, you can see on my chart where all of a sudden they start it starts rallying back up. So after it drops about, I think it was about 15%, maybe more, it was from, dropped from $27, let's say down to $22. She started to rally higher, but she stayed red. So she went from $22 up to uh, $23.77. It was still red. It was red. And, when, and again, it started to turn green on uh, XLF. And we started to buy it as soon as it turned green, right around uh, $23. And, uh, and now XLF is up, as I say, about, uh, about, I think it was 7%. So we caught it. We caught it early. And that's and by following the money, not following what these people say on CNBC or what these people say in Fox or Bloomberg. They're too late. They always tell you after the fact. Well, you're going to be in front of it. But the important thing, we're going to be out of these before they collapse again. Now, the whole idea, and again, if you look at the chart, they're struggling. They're trying to get the bank stocks above what they call the 50-day moving average. Now, they did that today. But the problem, here's the problem. They don't want to tell you. These bank stocks, remember, always lead the market. Bank stocks collapse. Bank stocks go down. Your market's going to go down. Bank stocks go up your market goes up. However, when you're doing a short covering, meaning everybody's shorting and then they're being squeezed, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, financially engineered to push them back up, to force them to buy their own shares back. You can tell because you can see the volume. The volume is going down while the stock is going up. So therefore, Therefore, as long as you have, like in my chart, an indicator, red and green, God, it really helps. It does. And today, this is our one-year anniversary. When I identified the one-year anniversary, when I said that everybody marked this day down, this was January 16th, 2018, I said, everybody, mark this down. This is the first day of the 2018 crash and we'll have a capitulation in december or the first quarter 2019 and it happened i'll be right back after this break
Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. I want to extend my personal invitation to all my listeners to join me in Orlando, Florida, February 7th through the 10th at the Money Show Free Investment Conference in Orlando, Florida, being held at Omni Resort Champions Gate. That's Thursday, February 7th through Sunday the 10th. On Saturday at 2 p.m., I'm inviting you to attend my workshop. Don't miss it. To register, go to philsgang.com. philsgang.com. We'll see you on the charts in Orlando. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Actually, yes, I am. Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. Thousands of investors trust philsgang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the Philsgang Max Best 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock chart seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. You know, we raise money every day for St. Jude, and we need your help. And I will reach out to you and help you learn how to invest in stocks. It's a whole new game out there. No more is there investing in stocks based on fundamentals. Those days are gone, totally gone. So look, join my gang, philsgang.com. I'll help you, and then you help St. Jude learn how to use a chart. Sign up today. Simply go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trade, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. St. Jude exceeds any expectation or any dream I could have ever had about a hospital. I was told we wouldn't get a bill. I didn't quite process that. How is this possible? It's possible through all the wonderful people who donate. I don't know if they are aware of what they do, but they're saving children's lives every day. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. I will make sure that all the stocks that we are engaged in that are going up, we will get maximum returns and we will be out of those stocks by watching our color-coded chart. You never again will have to worry about being out of an individual stock or an ETF or an index when the market crashes. You will be out before it does happen. All you got to do is join my gang, 877-600-GANG, 877-600-GANG. I'm reaching out to you. All I'm asking you to do is to reach back to the kids 
Jude's at St. Jude when you're making money. Don't wait. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Good. All right. Okay. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. The cam is on. If you want to go to my site, philsgang.com, you have a mobile device you can click on. And as I'm speaking about charts, you can actually see them. Um, and it's easy to do. Go to philsgang.com. Okay. So it was one year ago today that I said that everybody marked us down. This is the first day of the 2018 crash that was beginning. I said we would be starting with a 5% pullback. Then later on I explained that the market crashes just don't go down like that. You know, like you wake up one morning and you're down 40%. It's not like that. It takes time. And I said it would take till probably December of 2019 before we had the final, uh, um, you know, completion of the of the um, uh, of the of the correction, and um, and December ended up being the worst December we ever had in history. I also said if it didn't happen then, we didn't have the capitulation then, it would happen in the first quarter of 2019. So what's happened? Well. And what should you do? Should you be following now these bank stocks and jumping in? Because you're going to be hearing all kinds of nonsense like this. So this was sort of a nice uh, heads up that the banking industry is alive and well. Consumer loans being up strongly and that basically the state of the economy was looking very good. If you look at the consumer side, right, where they're really making their money, that piece of the business is doing okay. The demand for money continues to be there, and it's a line of sight into the economic state of play. Boy, a lot of fancy words, isn't it? But here, I'd like to ask them something. If things are so great for the consumer, then why did you have to lower rates? If things were so great, why did you stop raising rates? Oh, you don't want to answer that, though, would you? Why is it? If you take a look at Yellen, she raised rates so slow, much slower than Greenspan. When Greenspan came out of the recession, he went in and in, in, in 17, he raised rates 17 times over 24 months. That's telling he's got a strong economy. Yellen only raised rates six times in 24 months because she knew there was headwinds. She knew the economy wasn't good. Trump comes in and his advisors start telling him we're going into the uh, uh, midterm election. Let's start raising these rates. Tell everybody the economy's great, right? Well, guess what? He raised rates seven times in 19 months against Greenspan, uh, uh, 17 rates over 24 months. What's that tell you? They've been raising rates not because the economy's been good, but because Obama and uh, the Trump administration, they've been masking what's really going on with the economy. So they thought they could fool us and raise rates. It didn't work, did it? We had a total collapse. We had a 20% drop. So it didn't work. So today, listen to this. Listen to these two cuts. This was... uh, this was uh, yesterday. This was Charles Payne on Fox yesterday. First and foremost, those earnings before the open from J.P. Morgan to Delta. Not a lot to cheer about. Couple that with the Empire State Manufacturing data, the slowest growth since 2017. That sounds like recession, deflation. Wow, he's caught a recession yesterday. Don't look so good. Now listen to what he says today. He flips again. But today, bona fide great news from the financial sector. This has been an, an amazing year. Uh, it really has been amazing. So, <laughs> so yesterday we had uh, we had the financials reporting yesterday. 
We have finances reporting today. And yeah, he changes his tune. Not so good to amazing. This is what he does all the time. This is what they do when you listen to them. And you're trying to follow them? What are you, nuts? You know, I mean, the, the, the problem, well, he confuses himself all the time. That's the problem. I'm so confused. Yeah, he's confused. Look, I'm going to unconfuse you. Because this is my one-year anniversary where I called this stock market correction, I'm going to give you the same color-coded MV2 color chart that I use to call this market and my stocks. Now, for example... If you go and take a look at any of the stocks that we got in, let's let's take uh, uh, let's take uh, let's let's go with uh, I don't know, just I'll, I'll pull up one here. Uh, let, yeah, let's let's take up a, a bank stock. Let's go with BAC. Okay, let's go BAC. Okay, so the color coded chart, the color coded chart, you could see right here. It just started to turn green. It was turning green right here. You can see it. So how nice was that? It was red around $21.84, kept going up, kept going up to around $24.50. It remained red. So it kept me away from buying it. Even though the stock is going up because it's red, the algorithms are saying, look, it's going up okay, but don't jump in. Because if you jump in, you got a high probability of the stock going back down. Once it turns green, it's saying the five biggest banks, the biggest insurance companies, the biggest hedge funds have now put enough money in so you're safe. So the idea is not always to get in real early saying, I better get in at $21 before it gets to $28. That's not how this business works. They want you to think that, but it isn't. It's where you position yourself. When the institutions, and doesn't that make sense? I mean, doesn't that really make sense? Isn't it better? Why, why say I better get it at $21 before it gets to $28? It's better to say, look, it, I got it at $24 rather than $21 because my chart told me that the institutions weren't putting enough money in until it got to $24. So now Bank of America, we got a beautiful uh, – uh, return, I think the return of, we locked in 7%. So I'm going to give you that chart free for one month. Okay. So I'm going to do this today. I'm going to limit it to, again, I'll start a new group of, of uh, 20 people. And uh, I'm going to, uh, here's the number 877 600 gang, 877 600 gang. So please get this chart and then follow me. And you see, it works beautiful it, it works perfect it tells you when to buy it's not wrong more when we get back call now they're waiting for your call before they're gone want more information on this show Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. So this at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here, and it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from, all that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy, philsgang.com. We have three wonderful programs. We have a program for a person who just doesn't have time, the very, very busy person, where you follow my five recommendations, the same five stocks I've been investing in for over two years. You follow those recommendations, 
We tell you exactly what to do with those five stocks with complete support. So easy to do. We also have another program where you can follow three to four of the stocks that I actively trade every day. And then finally, if you want to really learn about investing and trading and all aspects of it, we have the best educational program in the country. So we have it all. Join my gang, philsgang.com. 877-600-GANG. That's philsgang.com. See you on the charts. Don't wait. Make it a prosperous new year with Phil Grandy and the Phil's Gang team. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. What are people saying? Back about 2005, I found myself out of work. One of the things I was doing was KCA was playing Phil's Gang at noon, and he was predicting in 2005 a collapse of the, the housing market. Phil's Gang feller, he was on it and nobody else was predicting what he predicted but he was he was on the money he was talking in 2005 he was talking about how people had the teaser rates with their mortgages and that the whole thing was going to collapse and he knew what time it was you got to respect that at saint jude children's research hospital we're fighting against childhood cancer every day at the heart of this battle are our donors most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay, it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here, and it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from, all that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Why pay thousands of dollars for a weekend seminar when for only $39.95 a month, philsgang.com provides all the daily market investing information you need to make profits in the stock market. With over 40 years of investing experience, only Phil Grandy and the philsgang.com team provide daily live investing webinars, up-to-the-minute market updates, all the investing educational videos you can imagine. Don't hesitate to learn, invest, and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG, 877-600-4264. Thousands of investors trust philsgang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the philsgang MaxVest 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock chart seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. <laughs> Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Okay, everybody's talking about the banks today. Everybody's all happy. The market's up 171 points. The market should be up 300 or 500 points. That's another uh, a tip off. This is a short covering rally. Welcome back to Phil's Gang. Okay, look, I'm going to offer you my color coded chart, and I don't want you, and when you join the gang, okay, you get that free. You get it free. It's a, uh, a $30 value, you get it free. And what I'm going to do is when you, what I want you to do is I want you to start first with what we, you go to what is called the working investor group. There's five stocks that we've been in two years and we use the MV2 color coded chart to tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add to your position or turn around and we'll turn around and short it or we tell you to run like hell using the MV2 color coded chart. 
try it for just one month and see how well you do for that month. So it's just five stocks, and we have like four bonus stocks. Now, to give you an example, we have for the fourth quarter, that's what's going on right now. Everybody's doing their fourth quarter earnings. Our fourth quarter on these stocks right now, okay, we had uh, for, the, uh, for the five stocks, Goldman Sachs up 30%. Our Intel was up 18%. IBM 15%. Uh, Caterpillar 21%. And Schlumberger, 43%. And, again, I'm not guaranteed if you join the gang and do these five stocks that you're going to get that kind of return. I can't guarantee that. I don't know the future. But if you use the color code, if you just listen to us, remember the beautiful thing about the uh, your learning because, you and, again, at the same time, you haven't got to do anything. You just watch because that group, the working investor group, my team gets together and at right – all day we watch it. Then at 2 o'clock we post. We all get together, and then we discuss it for about an hour and a half, two hours, what's going on. And then we will give you instructions. You go to my site. You click on Working Investors, and it tells you exactly what to do with each one of those stocks. If you don't go off the reservation, if you just do exactly what we tell you to do, you're going to be just fine. If you go off the reservation, you won't be fine. So try it. Now, I'm also going to give you my color-coded chart that I use free during that 30 days so you can see how exact it is, how it works. You haven't got to know anything about fundamentals of a company. You don't have to know anything about their earnings. You don't have to know anything about their free cash flow, their margins. don't know any of that. So I'm going to start a new group, 25 people, limited to 25 people, and to celebrate the one year, today's the one year that I said this market was going to correct I said we'd start out first in February, I said with a 5% correction, and then it would uh, keep going and would probably capitulate in December exactly what it did. Okay, but here, I don't want you going after these bank stocks. Now, isn't it interesting? Why is it that these pros are saying how great they are, but they're not going to buy them, right? I mean, this is amazing. The financials as a group were very oversold. And you could make a strong case that if a group is going to start to outperform, it could have been energy, it could have been financials, a couple of the worst performing groups for last year. And we're seeing a rally off the bottom, 11%. Makes sense for these stocks to go up. It makes sense that they start to show some numbers that are better, but we're not buyers. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense to go up. The, it makes sense they're going up, but we're not buying them. Oh, no. Why? Because they won't tell you, okay, that it's a short covering rally is not going to last, that they've rigged most of these numbers to get there, okay, and they're trying to do it because they're hoping to keep the S&P up. Now, what is amazing, here's what they're saying why the numbers are so good. This is what really grinds me. Listen to this. Everybody says consumers, consumers, consumers. Listen. So this was sort of a nice uh, heads up that the banking industry is alive and well. Consumer loans being up strongly and that basically the state of the economy was looking very good. Oh, really? So how great the consumer's doing, right? That's why the banks are up. Listen. What's not to like here? We have decent earnings growth. I think we'll easily get high single-digit earnings growth. We could even dip into double digits right now. Is the market fairly priced? Yes, 15 times earnings. What's not to like? Now, there you go again. More consumers, right? I think at large, the banks are doing pretty well. We've seen loan growth. Consumers are happy. And otherwise, J.P. Morgan's results were pretty good. The consumers aren't happy. The consumers are struggling. They're struggling. Why do you think? Use your head. Why do you think they had to stop raising rates? Because consumers are up to their neck in debt, credit card debt. Right now, auto loans, okay? Auto loans, they never had so many auto loans that are 90 days behind. Credit cards are behind. They're up to their neck in debt. So all they're trying to do is to get you excited, make you feel good. They always do that because this, just like what they do with, uh, when they did QE. When they did QE where they printed money and they borrowed money from China and pushed everybody and said, watch the stock market go up. Watch the stock market go up. And the stock market is the same as the economy. It reflects the economy. No, it doesn't. That's a total lie. Stock market never reflects the economy. But the idea is to always get your confidence up. That's what they're trying to do today. So they're telling you how strong the consumers are, and, and that's why the bank stocks went up. Now, wait a minute. The consumers are getting more in debt, more in debt. 
So if, the, if this was so great, consumers are doing so well, why aren't they increasing the de- interest rates? They tried, but the market dropped 20% because the consumer's in debt. But they're telling you just the opposite. Oh, the consumers are happy. Everything's wonderful with the consumer. Oh, look at the bank stocks go up. How wonderful they are. It's not going up because of consumers. That's a bull-faced falsehood. It's a lie. It's going up because why? It's going up because the Federal Reserve, the one percentile control these stocks, are buying the stocks themselves to push them up. Unbelievable what's going on. And I'm not going to tell you the truth. Now, here, I don't want to run out of time. By the way, 877-600-GANG. Call. They're waiting for you. I opened up on because of the anniversary. This is our one year anniversary. I called this market, said it was going to uh, collapse. And you get your free color coded chart. Now, here's what you do when you get that free color coded chart, you follow me through the working investor group, the working investor group. Now, we're going to start buying. OK, not the bank stock. Look, we're, you heard her. She said the bank stock's up by about 13 percent. We're up about 11 percent of the 13 in the bank stocks. Here they are. I got my numbers right here. We're up 30. We already got in. Let's do something different. Let's go after the next group that got beat up. The next group that got to be are oil, oil rigs, oil services and, and uh, refiners. So here's Schlumberger. Schlumberger, wonderful company. And it turned red. It turned red. Back in, uh, I think, turned red back back around uh, May, May of 2018. That told us to short it. You can see it. Go to my site, philsgang.com, if you have a mobile device. Look, it's red. It, it, it turned from green to red, and it dropped 43%. Now, I'm not saying every gang member made 43%. I'm not saying that because some gang members get in later. Some gang members get in early. I don't know when they all get in. But from the day that we called it and I said it turned red, sell short to where it turned green now, buy, that's about a 43% drop. But now the key is, let's buy it when nobody wants it. So it just turned green. So join the gang today. Get your color-coded chart. We'll do the same thing with these as we did with the bank stocks. When they start covering these, you'll be in a great position to buy Schlumberger. And our target is going to be on Schlumberger a minimum of 10%. That's our target, a minimum. But with it retracing or dropping 41%, there should probably be at least half, no, about 20%. There should be at least 20% in Schlumberger. So join right now. Be one of the 25. I'm, I'm limited to 25. Eight seven seven six hundred 600 gang Phone closes off at 6 o'clock. Please join the gang. And remember, if you make money, Please help St. Jude. Nobody's like St. Jude. Remember, anybody who has cancer, you bring your kid to St. Jude, you haven't got to pay a penny. Nothing. They take care of you. I know all about it. Believe me, my son had cancer. So please help St. Jude. Help yourself. Join the gang right now. Get your free color coded chart. It's limited to 25 people. 877 600 gang will be right back. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. St. Jude exceeds any expectation or any dream I could have ever had about a hospital. I was told we wouldn't get a bill. I, I didn't quite process that. How's this possible? It's possible through all the wonderful people who donate. I don't know if they are aware of what they do, but they're saving children's lives every day. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. I will make sure 
that all the stocks that we are engaged in that are going up, we will get maximum returns and we will be out of those stocks by watching our color-coded chart. You never again will have to worry about being out of an individual stock or an ETF or an index when the market crashes. You will be out before it does happen. All you got to do is join my gang, 877-600-GANG, 877-600-GANG. I'm reaching out to you. All I'm asking you to do is to reach back to the kids at St. Jude when you're making money. Don't wait. Find out more at phyllisgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. St. Jude exceeds any expectation or any dream I could have ever had about a hospital. I was told we wouldn't get a bill. I didn't quite process that. How is this possible? It's possible through all the wonderful people who donate. I don't know if they are aware of what they do, but they're saving children's lives every day. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trades, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. Why pay thousands of dollars for a weekend seminar when for only $39.95 a month, philsgang.com provides all the daily market investing information you need to make profits in the stock market. With over 40 years of investing experience, only Phil Grandy and the philsgang.com team provide daily live investing webinars, up-to-the-minute market updates, all the investing educational videos you can imagine. Don't hesitate to learn, invest, and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG, 877-600-4264. Welcome back to the Phil's Gang Radio Show. Want to know more about Phil's Gang? Go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. If you missed your chance getting in the bank stocks, okay, where they've rallied about 13%, we've gotten about 11% of it. Don't miss the oil service stocks, the oil drillers, okay? Because the oil service, the oil drillers, the, and the um, uh, refiners, they're down big. And they're going to they're gonna rally. The shorts are going to have to cover and rally. So go to my site, philsgang.com. Get your free chart. Your free chart, okay? And it's, again, once it's the color-coded chart. You get it free. It's around $30, the regular value. Join the gang for $39.95. Get your free charts. And then follow me on working investor group just when you get to the site go to working investor group you haven't got to do a thing we do everything for you buy sell hold add win the run like hell try it all i'm asking is you take care of saint jude please help saint jude nothing like saint jude it doesn't cost you a penny all right so we limit to 25 people also remember how they're telling you oh the consumer is so strong that's why the banks are up really that's why the banks are up because the consumers are so strong. That's a bull-faced lie. Household debt has increased $13 trillion, rising 60% faster than consumers' wages. Household debt is going up 60% faster than wages. They're choking. They're choking. Consumers are taking out debt at a far faster rate, far faster rate 
than their incomes, for God's sakes. And they know that. But they're not going to tell you that. So between household debt increasing by $13 trillion or rising 60% faster in wages, consumers are taking out debt at a faster pace than their incomes. Credit card interest fees paid in 2018 is $104 billion, up 35% in five years. But their wages are the same adjusted for inflation as in the 1970s. Their buying power is down. But the consumers who are using these credit cards are really getting screwed because those people are having a real problem because, they're, again, they're paying huge interest rates, keeps going up, up 35% in five years. Household debt is rising 60% faster than wages. Student loans at $1.5 trillion. That's $671 billion higher than in 2008. 6.3 million Americans are, are, are 90 days late, never had so many late payments on their auto loans. They're working paycheck to paycheck. But what are you hearing today? The reason why the banks are going up. Why? Because they're saying, oh, the consumer. So this was sort of a nice uh, heads up that the banking industry is alive and well. Consumer loans being up strongly and that basically the state of the economy was looking very good. That's amazing, isn't it? It's not the truth. Now, what we know is this. They have been masking, and I want you to think about this. They've been masking for how long now? Think about it. When, when they raised rates, I told you that Yellen was raising them real slow. Why? Because she knew underneath the economy things were bad. But they always tell you things are terrific, right? And what did they do? They took and rallied the stock market through stock buybacks. They printed and printed and borrowed and $9 trillion so companies could buy their own stock. Why did they do that? Because Obama and their administration wanted to mask what was underneath the economy, which was quicksand. So they said, as long as we can see the stock market going up, people will really believe the stock market. We'll tell them that the stock market and the stock market is the same as, as the economy. If you see a good stock market, that means the economy is good, which is not true at all. So she and Obama had to convince the country by taking parking space in your heads in spite of the facts that Obama was the only president in the history of our country who could not grow the economy by 3% annually, that the economy was doing great. It wasn't doing great, but they weren't going to tell you that. Now, think about it. Even Obama took credit. Remember when, when Trump was saying how great the economy is? He took credit. Are you kidding? He's stupid to do that because it's not doing well. Their plan was to prop up the stock market using quantitative easing and stock buybacks. Now, not only is that the biggest threat to our economy and our financial system and why the stock market dropped 20%, that has not gone away. It's still there. It's still there. Remember, it's a, stock, it's a confidence game, QE, and stock buybacks. By bringing that money in, printing it, and buying their own stocks, it's a confidence game. It gets you confidence to go out and buy stuff. And the banks are willing to loan you, especially with credit cards, to get you into more debt, more debt. But at some point, this debt has to pay back. You gotta, it's got to be paid back. But they continue to keep telling you, take parking space in your head, the stock market Look how great it is. That means the economy's doing great. No, that, that's crazy. The stock market is not the economy. It's not one and the same. But they do it to increase your confidence to go into more debt when household debt is at record height already. How many times you have you heard, look at the confidence report just came out and confidence is up, Barney would say. Remember, confidence would be up. Well, of course, confidence is up. If you give somebody, if you, if you give a heroin addict more heroin, his confidence is going to be up. He can go back and get more from you. And that's what's going on. People who are choking in debt, they'll give them another credit card. Of course, their confidence is up. Their confidence is up. They can go in more debt. Now, remember how Christmas, they said during Christmas in November, boy, the, this is the best season ever. Boy, is it strong, consumer strong. What did we find out when the numbers came out? Not so strong, was it? No, not at all. See, the problem, you can't say the stock market is the economy. 
The stock market does not reflect the health of the economy, especially when the stock market is linked to financial engineering, linked to printing of money for massive stock buybacks, so to artificially boost earnings, so to fraudulently boost stock prices without adding any sales to the top line. These companies' stocks are going up, but they're not even adding sales. The economy means what? Production, distribution of goods by businesses. The stock market represents what? Ownership of those businesses. They're not one in the same. What are you, nuts? Common sense tells you that. Common sense tells you the stock market and the economy can't be the one and the same. How could anyone confuse the health of the economy with money printing and stock buybacks? It's unbelievable. Because Remember, none of that money ends up in your pocket. You on Main Street, none of that money ends up in, in your pocket as wages. You go buy stuff because credit's available. You can go more in debt. They'll take your car loan and stretch it out seven years. You didn't get a wage increase. Your savings didn't go up to buy the car. No, the banks are going to keep expanding credit, expanding credit until that one time. All of a sudden, people have to pay it back. And then what happens? Prices stop going up. Deflation comes in. Stores drop prices. Now they got to uh, uh, lay off people. And as soon as you found your neighbor's out of work, he's not going to work that morning. When you're going to work, you get fearful. You stop buying because you think you may get laid off. And the, con- the economy gets worse. That's where we stand. Okay, I'm just telling you the truth. Look, 877-600-GANG. Get your chart right now. It's the free color-coded chart. Join the gang. Please remember St. Jude, when you join, start with the Working Investor Group. We'll tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to hold, based on the color-coded chart. Try it for 30 days. So, again, celebrating my one-year anniversary where I was the first one. I, I, I don't know if anybody else did. Okay, on January 16th to say this is the, uh, the beginning of the 2018 crash. So I'll give you that chart, okay? All right, cool. Now, they're saying there's not going to be any more, no more uh, hikes. Of course there's not going to be no, any more hikes. Why? Because corporate debt is strangling. It's $9 trillion. Corporate debt has increased 40% since 2008, but they didn't mind increasing 40% because it was free money. Now they got to pay interest. When it was free money, it cost them $15 per share of their stock. Now it's costing them $50 per share of their stock. What are you, nuts? Debt is the killer. So join my gang. Get your free chart limited to 25 people. 877-600-GANG. Please remember St. Chu when you're making money. The first 30 days, you're going to love it. When you come in, just remember to go to the Working Investor Group where you haven't got to do a thing. Look, I can't answer all questions. I don't have all the answers to all this stuff that's going on out there. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll reach out to you, and I'll make sure you're in a stock when you're supposed to be, you're adding when you're supposed to be, and you're running like hell when you're supposed to be. But better, you're shorting when you're supposed to be. 877-600-GANG. They're waiting for your call. Get your free chart. Listening to Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office, 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. It's up to- 